Hi, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are making this lipstick holder. You can use it for anything you like. In this one, I used a lip balm. But the one we're making today is a pink one. And I used, uh, I used it for my lipstick. It's a great gift. They are really, really popular and always very fun <laughs> to give. So uh, go ahead and enjoy. You are going to need some materials for this. I used this cotton yarn. It's an 8-4. A crochet hook size 3 millimeters, Some scissors. A needle that fits your yarn. And then something to fill the balls. I just used this cotton, this uh, makeup thing, pad, to tear and put inside. You can use anything you like. To begin this, we start making the shaft. And we begin by making a magic loop. If you're not comfortable making a magic loop, just follow the link right here. And I will show you how to do it in a very slow pace. <clears throat> And I show it in two ways, so if you don't get it the regular way, there's another way to do it. So I'm sure you will get it at some point. I don't know how many I make. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. And we pull together and do a slip stitch in this first stitch. And that's it. <clears throat> now we start working single crochet and I make one single crochet and then another in the same stitch. Then I do a single crochet in this next stitch. Then this next one, I do two single crochet. And only one in this next one. And I continue increasing in every other stitch until I got 16 stitches in total around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I only have 12. So I make another increase. That makes it 13. <clears throat> and we are almost there. So I stopped counting. I'll just count again. I need one more. So this is my last increase. We are now at 16 stitches in total. And that's it. So we are working in spirals. We are just doing one single crochet all the way to the top. So now we made the bottom and we will be working all the way up here. So when you got 17 rows, I will show you what to do next for the head up here you do exactly the same as we did with the shaft you start with a magic loop just like this and you continue increasing in every other stitch until you have 16 stitches in total and you continue crocheting in spirals until you got one two three four five six seven eight nine rows 
if you like the head to go down a little bit longer you just do a few more but this is how it will look like so just continue working and it will look like this so now for the balls you do a magic ring just like before Then we do some single crochet in the ring. Doesn't matter how many you will increase in this next row. Just do how many feels comfortable for you. So you tighten it in. Pull together. And do a slip stitch in this first stitch. Like this. And then we do a single crochet. And another single crochet in the same stitch. Then we do a single crochet and go to this next stitch and do two single crochet. So you increase in every other stitch. And go ahead and count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. I've got ten. And we need to have thirteen stitches around. So I will need another two. So just increase in every other stitch until you have 13 stitches around. I've got 13 right now. So continue working up the ball just one single crochet in every stitch until you have about five rows counting this one as the first this magic loop and then the first the second and until you have five so when we have five rows we will start to decrease. If you want bigger balls, you can continue for another row. But let's increase from, uh, sorry, decrease from now. We do two single crochet together to insert your needle and grab the yarn and stop. Insert your needle in the next one, yarn over. And now you have three loops, then you yarn over and pull through all of them. So do another one. Insert, grab, pull out. That's two. Insert, grab, pull. That's three loops. And then all together. Do three of those. Then I skip one, do a slip stitch. And skip one, do a slip stitch. So we are really pulling it together right now. And another one, skip one, do a slip stitch. And we will stop here. So grab your scissors. And leave a long tail. Pull out your hook and now we will fill the ball. I just use one of those pads which are tore. So I always just use my scissors stuffing them.
you can use whatever you like. You can use an old t-shirt or some paper, doesn't matter. And you can fill them as much, much as you want. Don't know how hard you want your bubbles to be. But you decide. So I just used one of those for two balls. And that's it. And that's the one. So go ahead, make another one just alike. And then you have these two. Weave in your ends on the shaft and the head and leave the tails on the balls. You don't want to cut those off. And then I will show you how to connect all the things. We are now ready to assemble. So grab your shaft and your lipstick and insert the lipstick in the shaft. Grab your needle and one of the balls and thread the needle with the yarn and place the ball on the shaft on the bottom part. And we will now be sewing it on. Just sew all the way around until it's fastened and won't fall off. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you like to see what I'm doing next. I'm doing a new tutorial every week and they're always beginner friendly and I explain everything I do. And if you like this video, please press thumbs up. I think these are pretty awesome. It's a really good gift. So now you fasten the yarn on the bottom. Just go back and forth a couple of times so it won't break. Like this, grab your scissors and cut it. Then get the other ball. and thread the needle, place it beside the other one and sew it on. You can always do them in some other kinds. You can do blue balls if you want to be fun. <laughs> you can make huge balls and Hanging balls, you can do whatever you like. This pink one is also always a winner. So we are almost at the end. And you fasten the yarn so it won't get loose in the bottom, like this. Grab your scissors and cut it. Then take your head and widen it a bit. You can do more stitches, but I always just pull it a bit because I want it to be tight. 
So you pull it down over the shaft like this and it will sit perfectly and be your own little lipstick holder. Just like the little friend. I hope you liked the tutorial. See you again next week. Bye!